Hi, this is Michelle Martello from Anima Designs, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own animated graphics just like these. I'm doing these in honor of Laura Belgray's new book launch for her memoir, Tough Titties. You can see I've already created a few graphics, but I wanted to create a few more that she can use in her Instagram stories. To do this for yourself, you're just going to need a couple of things. First, you'll need a Giphy account. It's free and it's easy to use. Next, you'll need an image of yourself, maybe a logo, or another design element that you want to animate. I've already logged into my Giphy account, and I've got some images ready to go, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my account and click on Create. Next, we'll look for Sticker, and we'll click Choose File. Find the image that you want to use and click open. In this case, we're using an image of Laura, but it's got a background. We really want to have a transparent graphic. So in order to do this, I'll we'll use the magic wand right here. I'll click on the image, and that's going to remove the background. You can also upload a transparent graphic if you want, but this tool makes it easy to do everything in one place. Next, I'll click on Continue to Animate. Now, one thing I like to do with stickers, especially if they're photos, is I like to give them a stroke or border around the edge. It just helps it make it stand out, especially if you're using the sticker on top of other graphics inside your Instagram stories. I like how that looks. I usually use like a three or four pixel stroke uh, border to make it really strong. We can change the color if we want. I like white. So now what we're going to do is animate it. And there's a couple that I actually really like. One is the peeker. Uh, you can see that it goes up and down. We could make her spin around if we wanted to. Uh, Flippy is also fun because uh, it goes back and forth, but I think I'm going to stick with Peeker. So we're going to keep that and then we'll click continue to upload. Next, we'll need to add some tags. This is how we'll find our stickers in the Instagram library. You can also just copy your images directly from Giphy over to Instagram stories, which we're going to have to do in our case because the name of the book is a little on, let's say, the edge, and so it won't actually get approved to go in the Instagram library. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what you would want to do anyway. So let's say we want to give it a tag of book. Uh, this would help if anybody is searching for book, this sticker might show up. I also like to use uh, a branded name. Uh, that way I can make it easy to find uh, if it does get approved. So in her case, I'll use her name. And then the other thing you'll want to do is actually add your website. So it'll be the source URL. In her case, uh, I'm going to make it the website of her book. Click Save. Now, one thing I like to do is create a collection. Uh, I have dozens of these graphics, so I like to organize stuff for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the category that I've already created. And then I'm going to click Upload. This will probably take a few seconds. Uh, depends on your internet connection. Sometimes it can take longer. So just let it sit there and let it generate. All right, our sticker's uploaded and it's in the process of review. Again, we're probably not gonna pass just because of the title of the book. Uh, they don't wanna put that in the Instagram library. Uh, but what we'll wanna do is download the Giphy app. So the app we can use on our phone and we can copy and paste from the Giphy library over to our Instagram stories. If you've just got an image of yourself uh, or maybe a logo or something, you'll probably get approved within a few hours or a couple of days to be in the actual Instagram library. So when you're searching for stickers, you'll be able to find your personal sticker. Now, let's say we want to do her logo as an animated graphic. Let's go ahead and create that next. Just like before, we'll click the Create button. We'll click Sticker again and choose the file. This time I'm going to use the logo, so I'll click the logo image. So this image is already transparent, so we don't need to do anything else. So we'll click Continue to Animate. I don't need to add a stroke because it's already got a border around it. And now we need to choose the animation. I'm actually going to do Jelly. I think that's kind of a fun one. And you can see it kind of goes wavy back and forth. And then just like before, I'll continue to upload. I'll add my tags. I'll add the URL and I'll add it to the collection. And I'll click Upload, just like before. Now, if we ever wanna see all of the things we created, we can simply click on our account and we can see all of our collections, our favorites, and everything we've uploaded. I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks so much.